On the workbench drivers is RC Four Wheel Drive's latest Trail Finder 2 Long Wheelbase Edition Chevrolet K10 Scottsdale. And it may look a little familiar. I reviewed one on the channel last year, but they've made some changes to the truck for 2024. And that's what I'm gonna go over today. I'll give you a little sneak peek. We've got some suspension travel this time. They've made some other revisions as well. I'm gonna go over everything you need to know about this truck and we're gonna take it outside for a little fun drive. So this RC model is a ready to run and the way they have to ship it, some assembly is required. The body is packaged in a separate box and nicely wrapped up so nothing happens to it. The chassis itself is used in a variety of other kits uh, so they package that separately. And then there's some accessories that are stuffed into different boxes and bags. And I'm gonna go over everything but I've jumped ahead here and assembled it so we could take a close look at it if you want a full in-depth review I will uh, put a link up above to my previous Scottsdale video and there's a lot of information in that but first up let's take a look at the body again it's a licensed Chevrolet K10 Scottsdale and it's now available in this bright metallic red it's almost like a mica red I would say very light flake in the in the paint and they have a black version as well. I'm really psyched about the red. I think it's gonna look really good with the blue. When I'm out driving these two, I'll have my kids with me. But look at this body. It's a hard ABS body, tons of chrome accents all over it. The bumpers are actually separate inside the box. You're gonna have to go screw on the front and rear bumper. They have a molded chrome grill, and there's actually a second grill inside the box with a, a different style to it. But as you can see, they got chrome around the headlight bezels and around the marker lights and everything and there's LED lights behind these. Everything is nicely wired. You flip over the body, everything's taped down so there's no wires hanging as you're driving. And then even in the rear, they've got the tail lights. Just love the way those look. The chrome on the rear bumper, absolutely awesome. Chevy logo on the tailgate. The tailgate actually folds down. And then this truck has a deep bed. I know there's a lot of, of scale guys out there that just love this deep bed that could go throw their accessories in there. Uh, you know, sleeping bags or ramps, whatever you got. <laughs> I've seen some guys put motorcycles in the back. Very cool what you could do with these. Nice thick plastic for the windows. You got the RC four wheel drive banner on it. And then if you look closely, you can see they've got an interior in here. The seats, dashboard, uh, even some decals to go and help accent the look. Steering wheel, I believe there was pedals down at the bottom, shifter at least. And uh, you know, you've got windshield wipers in the front and then the large mirrors on the side. Some people say these are a little bit oversized, but I used to drive my dad's uh, Chevy one ton van and it just had massive mirrors on it. It just kind of reminds me of that. So it doesn't bother me that much. Scottsdale logo on the side and uh, they even have the rocker guards down here. That's actually part of the chassis. Something else that's included in the kit is uh, inner fenders for the front. You will have to go and attach those. They require a little bit of trimming. Uh, I had to trim them on my uh, last Scottsdale on this one as well, but uh, pretty easy to get installed. Now while we're checking out some of the outside details. Let me show you these wheels and tires. So they they again fitted this with the BF Goodrich mud terrain tires and they're wrapped around these uh, rally style wheels. Now one little change is they gave us a locker style hub instead of the nut. Actually there's a nut underneath this. They give you a special tool to go and back this out all in one shot but it's got the RC four wheel drive logo etched in there. Nice little chrome piece both front and rear. Now the other major change to the body beyond the color is actually under the hood. So let me pop this up for you. This is one of the cool features of this truck. The hood does open on it. It's a little tricky sometimes. There we go. It's held down with a magnet and check that out guys. There's now an engine bay in there and they include an accessory kit. So it's all wired up. It's got the battery over there. It's got the spark plug wires, the air cleaner on top, even with stickers on it. There's your brake booster. Like the details on this very cool look. Definitely helps finish this truck off. I think a lot of people are gonna like that. They're gonna sell that stuff separately. So if you have a earlier version of the K10, you'll be able to pick up that engine dress up kit for it. All right, let me take the body off and I'll show you the few changes made to it and go over the rest uh, just in case you're not familiar with this truck. So here's the Trail Finder 2 long wheelbase platform. RC four wheel drive has been using this for a really long time. And what I like about it is there's a lot of metal components on here. You, you feel like you're getting a lot for your money. And speaking of that, this truck comes in at $570 for the ready to run set. And this gives you everything you need to go out and run the truck. But back to the 
the platform itself. So you've got aluminum frame rails, uh, anodized black. They've even got the RC four wheel drive logos etched on them. This metal radio tray here that actually is just for supporting the battery pack. You're gonna have to go and install these RC four wheel drive battery straps. Lots of metal cross bracing throughout, metal servo mount up front, and then even the brackets for the transmission are all machined aluminum anodized black. The standoffs on the side, those are for your body mount. Your body's got to screw into place. Uh, so there's no body clips on the outside. They give you these body posts in the rear, but I, I never actually put body clips through them. I just use them for support in the back. So the back doesn't flutter around. Uh, the fuel cell in the back is for uh, basically like a radio box. Your receiver's located in there. And uh, again, they go and give you the Lexan inner fender wells for the front. The front has uh, aluminum shock perches where in the rear, the shock mounts to the frame. Now there is a change to the shocks. There's a change to the suspension on this. As I indicated earlier, uh, they still have the white RC four wheel drive shocks. And uh, what they've done is they've removed the inner springs from these and they gave us the soft leaf springs and removed one of the, the leaves from it, actually one or two. Uh, they're in a bag that's included in the kit, but by removing the leaf spring helpers and then the springs inside the shocks, it makes the shock much smoother and actually allows them to work. Now guys have been doing these mods on this truck for a long time. Now RC four wheel drive is just doing it right out of the box. So you don't have to go ahead and work on your truck as soon as you get it to get some decent suspension action out of it. And as you can see, it, it's much freer now. So I definitely like that change. And that's really the only big change that they made to the platform itself. Uh, up front, they still have the metal steering links and there's a metal servo horn on the twister servo, metal gears on the inside of that, high torque. They've got their 45 turn motor. And over here, it mates up with the R3 transmission. This is just a single speed transmission that goes to the hammer transfer case. And uh, just to, to round out the electronics, actually, they have their Outcry 3 speed controller fitted with a XT60 plug. Now, let me jump back to the drivetrain. Uh, they've got a hammer transfer, the hammer transfer case sends power down these slider drive shafts. We got metal yokes on those. The K44 axles, these are all metal axle housings and uh, they have metal hubs out by the wheels. Up front, you'll see they've got this, a CV style drive shafts, metal gears on the inside, ball bearings, and everything's metal on these metal knuckles of the diff cover on it. Just a, a really cool looking axle, very scale like. And, and that's what RC four wheel drive is about, giving you that scale experience. And overall, it's just a, a really good looking drivable model. And before I head out to drive it, let me show you what else comes in the kit. So back here, we have the R3 transmitter. It's a 2.4 gigahertz transmitter. Pretty cool look to the steering wheel on it. They give you some additional decals. So if you wanna go add trim to the, to the body itself, you'll be able to do that or change out the panels on the interior dash. Uh, they give you some extra decals for that. You also get a universal wall charger. It comes with all the different plugs for all different countries. And then a 3000 milliamp nickel metal hydride 7.2 volt battery pack. There's your double A's and uh, some additional hardware that comes with the kit. So yeah, everything you need to get going is all in the box. Now let's head outside and have a little fun with this truck.
Look at this guys, I lucked out. There's a bunch of mud here at the crawl spot and I just been running the Scottsdale through it nonstop. Love the look of the mud just sticking to the tires. Look at that. Oh, I got a lot of cleaning ahead of me, but that looks cool. This the sticky mud, that's the best stuff. Just rolls off the tire. Back through the other way. Awesome, <laughs> it just looks so good. Descend down this rock face here, nice and slow. One of those tires are gonna be slippery. Yeah, just a little bit. Got down no problem. There's a lot of weight to this rig that helps it plant itself. But can it crawl this? I don't know. I think the tires are gonna be a little too slick. Yeah, a little too slick, but I don't know, it kind of wants to. In a different spot, a little side hill. Nope, it's gonna roll if I do that. work our way through the trail here it's about as slow as I can get the crawl to go a little slower there we go that's about as slow as I could go keep forward momentum here this rock face here is pretty tricky and I nailed it before let's see if I could do it again nope all right come back around reset Never give up. You gotta find the right line, right? All right, let's see if I can get it. Did I get it this time? Nope. The rear tire's got a hook. All right, try number three. Scrape that front bumper. Whoa, it almost rolled. And we nailed it, look at that. Third try. All right, so obviously it's got a 45 turn motor and just a six cell nickel metal hydride pack. So there's your top speed. And this mud right here is just calling the truck. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> you know, the weight and the torque just helps this truck out. Muscling through that stuff. Oh, another roll. Oh no.
I can definitely tell there's some suspension movement now with the changes that they made to the truck. So it definitely handles better than the previous one I drove. You just got to keep this thing slow and scale. And remember, it's a leaf sprung truck. So it's not going to go crazy with the articulation. But if you drive it right, it's a challenge and a blast. So finding a spot to run wasn't easy. Most of the local parks and trails are still covered in snow. So I went back to my usual mountain spot, which for some reason melts relatively quick. I guess this is the way the sun comes down in that area. And I lucked out by having a ton of mud to play in. And I think that's what these trucks do really well in. You know, as a kid hanging out, I, I hung out with the truck crowd. We always go to, you know, different fields and stuff like that. The guys would mud their trucks. I was kind of brought back to those memories as I was just mudding this thing, which was an absolute blast. The tire do fill up and uh, that will slow you down when you go over to crawl some rocks now again they've made some changes to this to the suspension stuff that you know guys that were picking up the other trucks were doing they just did it from the factory and it does help out the driving performance of the truck it's built to look scale and perform scale and that it does there's times where it was teetering and i did roll it over a bunch of times actually but uh you know it does handle better than it did before the only other change was obviously cosmetic with the uh, the engine bay uh, and all the detail stuff. So that's cosmetically, it looks cool. But you know, if you're a Chevy fan, you're looking to get into a, a square body Chevy just for that scale off-road fun, the, the real detailed stuff. I mean, this is definitely a truck to look at. It's got its little quirks like its larger mirrors, but you know, overall great representation of the truck. Now, although I like the truck, I think we're looking for something a little bit more RC four-wheel drive. This platform has been around for a while and I like to see something new in the future, some, some more changes just to help out the progression of this truck. But you know, again, if you're a square body fan, I think you might like this truck. It's cool that they have two different colors now. And again, all these parts will be available. So if you have you know, the previous version, like the blue one, like I do, uh, there's no reason to buy another one. You could go pick up those parts. But if you're looking to get into it, this is definitely better equipped than the previous version was. I'll have links for everything down in the description below.